Hello everybody, so how to manifest anything that you want in 17 seconds. So some of you may be thinking, that sounds way too good to be true. How can you manifest things in just 17 seconds? But I'd like to ask you, when was the last time that you thought about something that you wanted and you really felt it like you had it for 17 seconds? So welcome back subscribers and welcome to any of the newbies on my channel. My name is Sarah Alotevi. I am an international speaker and a life coach and on this channel we discuss everything personal development, law of attraction and also how to hold us all accountable to being the best versions of ourselves. So today's topic is how to manifest anything in 17 seconds and I'm not going to only show you how to do this. But at the end of this video, we're actually going to do the manifestation and amplify these powers together. So when it comes to manifesting anything in 17 seconds, a common mistake that people have is that when you think about something that you want to manifest, you often think about all the problems that you will encounter. And what usually happens is you end up manifesting those exact problems. So I'll give you an example. What usually happens, say you get invited on a date, or this could even work if you get asked to come to an interview, right? You think about, okay, well, I need to pick the outfit. I need to figure out how I'm gonna get there. Am I gonna drive? Is there gonna be parking? And you think about these, but you have to check the emotion that you have, because usually what somebody's thinking about is they're actually nervous. They're thinking about, what if I don't get there in time? I need to manage the traffic. Maybe there's not a parking spot up front. How am I gonna figure that out? What outfit am I gonna wear? And all of these stressors actually impact and manifest the things that you don't want in the future. Because I know a lot of you have been there before where you've been thinking about needing to get somewhere on time, right? And you're focused about, am I gonna make it in time? and then indefinitely you always, always, always hit traffic. And this happens because you actually manifest the situation because you're worried about it. You're worried about it happening and then you almost prepay because like attracts like. That worry of not getting somewhere on time is actually, the not gets removed. You, you just, you don't get there on time, you know what I mean? Your brain doesn't understand that you don't want this to happen. All it hears is not get there on time or late or hit traffic and that's what you manifest. But what if I could tell you that there was another way that you could easily change these outcomes in your life just with 17 seconds? We call this pre-paving in the law of attraction and what you do is you pre-pay your momentum in a positive direction, right? So the common mistake that people make is thinking in the wrong direction and putting the wrong emotions towards it. So all you need to do is think about the outcome that you want and add emotion to it. And it's only for 17 seconds. So say you want to get somewhere on time. What you would do is think about actually being at the place, being very comfortable, arriving there early and not worrying. And what you wanna do is make sure you don't introduce wobble. Because if you feel like you don't believe that, then what you wanna do is go more general, right? So you say, everything's always working out for me. I know that things will happen to lead me to the best desired outcome. And I know everything happens for a reason. So whether I get there on time or not, the best outcome will happen, right? So that's the more general. But if you feel like you can go more specific, especially even when it comes to a date, what you wanna do is imagine the end of the date. Like imagine being so happy and elated, having such a great time. Imagine getting there on time, how great you feel to have that connection, to share that laughter, that fun and the enjoyment and the experience. Really truly feel that in yourself for 17 seconds. Just 17, if you can go beyond that to go above a minute, that's even better. But even if you just hold that for 17 seconds, you will positively manifest in that direction. And to be honest, I use this every single time I fly because I used to have such a fear of flying. I was the one who would imagine the turbulence and get nervous. And what I decided to do is every time I sit in the plane, 
I imagine landing at the next airport and how great it's gonna feel to pick up my baggage and that my baggage is gonna come out first. This is how I prepave and what usually happens is every single time I've done this, I will get there and my baggage will come out sooner rather than later. So use this in your daily life to be able to help you prepave in the right direction that you want because believe me, those small manifestations, those micro manifestations actually have a huge impact on your life. Imagine the person who always gets there on time, right? Traffic just seems to part for them. Doors seem to open. People even move out of their way when they're walking through a space. The person whose baggage always comes out from the airplane at the airport first. Somebody's has to come out first. Why not you? These are ways and these are tools that you can use in everyday life that will actually set you up for the larger manifestations that you want. Because if you are constantly in that positive vibration and you are manifesting the life and the things that you want, you are on a much higher vibration. But if you start manifesting traffic and then you're manifesting all the things you worry about, you're in a lower vibration and it'll impact everything else in your life. Your relationships, different experiences after that, maybe the day won't go so well because you rushed to try and get there, you didn't get there on time, you hit traffic, you were stressed out, you couldn't relax. Like there are so many, so many, so many ways that this actually has profoundly impacted my life and helped me. So I hope you guys use these and enjoy these too. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do one together. So I want you all to take a deep breath in, balance the energies, and take a deep breath out. And now I want you to think about something that's coming up for you. This is how we're going to plan it. Something that's coming up for you. Anything big or small that you want to have a positive outcome with. And I want you to hold that, go as general as you need to go, but hold that in your mind's eye, in your third eye. So close your eyes, breathe in, hold that image. And now what I want you to do is add emotion to it. So add how good it will feel when that experience comes to fruition or when you positively go through that manifestation. Just hold it. Breathe in, enjoy it, smile. Think about how grateful you'll be when that happens. Think about where you'll be sitting, who you'll be telling about it. Think about how wonderful that is and add more emotion, add more of the activities, add the smile on your face. Play out that scenario. Maybe you go somewhere after you call up a friend and you tell them about it. Maybe you get a positive email or a text message or and you light up even more. It just feels so good to be in that moment, be in that vibration, hold that there. And know that everything's always working out for you. Everything is always working out for you. And good things are always coming for you. That was more than 17 seconds. And you can go even further. And a lot of times, a great way to do it as well is just focus on opportunity. Focus on what you're grateful for. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have. I'm grateful for this life. I'm grateful to have this momentum, to have this environment, to create the life that I want. I'm grateful to know that things are in my control and I can have positive outcomes in my life. Just keep going. Keep going with it. Keep flowing and enjoy that. And then what I want you to do after you've done that, go on with your day. Go on with your day, and then at the end of the day when you're going to bed, remember all the positive things that are coming to you. So I hope this video has helped you all. Hit that like button, share it with anybody you think you can help, and don't forget to subscribe so that we can all hold each other accountable to being the best versions of ourselves. You guys are my accountability buddy, and I'm your accountability buddy, and we're in this together. So anyway, I'm sending my love, and bye for